My name is Chris Leitz. I'm with Data Tech. I'm the uh, president and CEO of Data Tech. I'm also uh, head of the IT development and engineering team for our data center. So quite a bit of experience with uh, some of the connectivity, you know, things that we've done in the past with uh, TW Telecom and uh, now Level 3. So uh, what we want to do is talk about, um, you know, building on that partnership. Now that we have a specific product that was developed by TW Telecom and Level 3 is, is uh, thankfully adopting, you know. Um, so now we have a product that we can truly partner uh, up on and offer some, some interesting uh, ways of connectivity for the client that is different than in the past. Not only in its, in its physical connectivity and what we can offer, but the pricing is dramatically different as well. And the control values, I think, on the approach to selling this solution are a little bit different. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that uh, today. So the goals for this session, uh, get to know each other a little bit better. Solution selling versus selling product. I'll talk a little bit about different ways, you know, that we want to approach selling, you know, the different products and services that we, uh, that we both offer. Power of partnerships, symbiotic relationship, which is very important, and uh, some available resources that we're going to create specifically for level three and, and the sales reps. So before we get started, uh, throughout the, the presentation, I want you guys to keep a couple questions in mind that we can circle back around at the end and explore you know, some of these questions. How can data tech help you? I mean, that's pretty straightforward. Whatever you guys think we can do to help you sell connectivity, and not just connectivity, but bandwidth, you know, the high level bandwidth, the fiber connection, the multiple connections, and create the need for that. How can data tech help you guys do that? What are some of the common situations that you guys encounter out there? What are the questions you get asked? What information would help you? Are there any obstacles you commonly run into? You know, when you're trying to sell these things and, and you, you, you know it's the right solution for the customer, but what do they come back with, you know, to, to tell you that, eh, I don't really don't need that? And what resources can Data Tech offer to assist you? So again, we'll circle back. Who is level three communications? Just connectivity. That's, I think that's the primary. Now you offer other you know, services like telecom and voice and, and things like that, but really it's the connectivity is, is the advantage there. And it's really, it's high speed connectivity, right? That's what we're talking about. We're talking about selling high speed lines, not just T1s. I mean, it's great to sell a T1, but really you know, what we all want to do is sell the fiber connections or even bonded Ts where we need to. So TW Telecom, which is where it started, you know, they had their nice coverage map here in the United States. That was great. Level three, from doing some, just some quick online searches, I haven't really been officially provided with this, but <clears throat> what level three does is it allows us to extend that connectivity, right? And that's important for a lot of reasons. I mean, there's global communications now that companies have, and they have... Uh, uh, overseas services, and I'll give you a specific example where we've already approached one of our customers about this. We have a, a, a local customer here um, that is a, a, a um, medical institution, and they have a lot of locations here throughout Florida, but that they have a lot of clinics. But at night, they transfer their billing services over to India. Okay, so it's a 24 seven operation. The challenge has always been that India has very, very bad connectivity, especially back over here to the United States. So there's constant issues with, with them trying to run their billing software over the internet at night and get things done. So I've already reached out to them and said, look, you know, with, with this new level three partnership and the fact that we have this really cool product, uh, eLink, which I now is changing right to Cloud Connect. To Cloud Connect. Okay, so substitute Cloud Connect for eLink. Let me grab my water here, Marty. Um, so substitute wherever you see eLink, the Cloud Connect terminology, and I'll try to interject that as well. <clears throat> so I talked to uh, FPG about this, and they're very interested in getting more information on how they can get onto local level three connectivity uh, all the way back. So, so that, this relationship is already kind of paying dividends for us, because if we can secure that, guess what? That's unique. You know, and all the other providers, they could talk to Bright House, they could talk to Windstream, you know, um, but 
they can't get this kind of connectivity. So that's important. There's a lot of companies that have this need. Whether they have a billing institution over there or they just have remote workers, you know, they, they need some real good connectivity. So that's where that helps out. So who is Data Tech? <clears throat> uh, just a little background about us. We're an IT services company. We've been in business for 20 years. So we've been around, you know, the area for a while. We've had many relationships and some long-standing relationships. We've been doing business with TW Telecom probably for about 15 years in one way or another. And it's really starting to get a much deeper relationship lately, especially with uh, TW Telecom in, investing in the E-Link product and really reaching out to partners and saying, hey, we, we want to empower you. And that's really what E-Link does. But uh, we have a privately owned data center. So that's an advantage to us that we'll talk a little bit about and to, to you guys. Enterprise cloud solutions data backup and recovery, managed IT and security. We also still provide premise-based services. So if a customer has some issues uh, at, their, at their location, we'll actually still roll trucks. Many of our competitors, many of the IT companies aren't doing that anymore. It's, uh, it's hard to make that cost effective, but we do it as a service. Outsource help desk services. The CyberCats division, we'll talk a little bit about that. And the Shadow Cloud, which we specifically created for this relationship with Level 3. So why a partnership? I mean, that's, that's probably one of the questions, you know, that everybody has. You know, wh why do we want to reach out to Data Tech? Well, for one thing, the privately owned data center, okay? In the marketplace today, customers are looking for a lot more than just connectivity. They want, they, they, the connectivity is a means to an end, okay? The end is that they need to connect someplace else. They want to get their stuff out of their office. They want to get it to a secure data center. Or they want to do co-location or disaster recovery. Whatever the reason, they're going to need that connectivity, but we've got to create a reason for that in some cases. So our privately owned data center, what's powerful about that is that we have no restrictions. We can be very creative on the solutions that we offer to the clients, right? So you guys can be out there. You don't have to sell, you know, widget A, widget B, and widget C. We can design a custom widget for that customer, whatever they might need. Enterprise cloud solutions are the services within the data center that we can offer. And there's a vast array of those, and we'll cover a couple of those today. We're not going to get real deep in on each of the individual services. We're, we'll cover more of that later. I'm going to provide kind of an overview today of the relationship and how eLink, specifically Cloud Connect, can, uh, can help us out with that. <clears throat> of course, data backup and recovery solutions. Um, and most people focus on this, on the, on the data backup side of that, right? They, oh, I want to back up my data. I need co-location. I need to get it off site. They don't really take into consideration the recovery part of that, okay? I got my data backed up someplace, but if there is a disaster, how can I recover, right? And how quickly can I recover? And you've got terabytes of data now people are storing everything under the sun because storage is so cheap. So they're storing everything. They're keeping it off site. Well, how do we get that data? back to their premise location or wherever it needs to go from that offsite, high-speed connectivity. That's where high-speed connectivity, e-link, private secure connections come in, is we've got to talk about this recovery piece, not just the backup piece. Managed IT and security services, a lot of uh, companies now are geographically dispersed, right? They have either large offices or a bunch of little offices all over the place. And it, and they're doing that for workforce mobility. They're doing that for need. They're doing that because it's cheap to do it these days. The problem is it managing all those locations, right? So right now, um, a lot of the telecom providers are offering what they call managed services. Now, the problem with that is the managed services stop at the, the router. So really, it's managed services for the connectivity that you offer. What we want to do is come in and say, OK, we're going to complement that service by offering true managed IT services throughout the organization. We'll touch on that a little bit deeper later. Okay? But that's the difference between our managed IT services and your managed connectivity services. Premise base, we touched on that. Outsource help desk services, this is actually becoming pretty popular uh, as people are really understanding that their users need someone to call that can respond to them quickly. You know, it used to be in a day where, you know, someone that has a problem would call and they'd sit back and wait two hours, you know, for someone to fix their computer. 
whatever that might be. But that's not acceptable anymore, is it? I mean, you guys hear it all the time. It's like, my computer's not working, and I want it fixed now. I need this Word. My boss wants this Word document, wants this presentation on his desk. So they're requiring instantaneous service. Most of the large organizations maybe have one or two IT guys that are running around. They just can't keep up with the need. So what we do is we offer the outsource help desk services so that we can provide level one support for these companies. We do it very, very cost effectively. The users can simply pick up the phone. We can connect into their computer remotely and help them out instantly. Okay, so we're meeting that need. The CyberCats division is, is a very unique division within Data Tech. Data tech. And what, what this is, is the CAT stands for Computer and Advanced Technical Services. So when you have a customer that has a unique problem or is looking for a unique solution, we engage our top level engineers to figure that out. And we make those available to you guys as a resource. And then the shadow cloud. And we'll discuss more about that. That's the bulk of the information that's in here. So obviously a partnership and what we want to do, I mean, underneath it all is to increase sales, right? But we want to do it the right way. So yes, of course, we want to increase sales. But not just by selling products. We want to create solutions. Because solutions sell themselves and they create a value proposition greater than the sum of the products being sold. Partnerships allow the creation of complex solutions to customer challenges. Providing solutions versus selling products increases the value proposition and negates cost comparison as a factor in the sale. What all that means is basically if you go out there and can sell connectivity that's associated with a solution like disaster recovery, co-location, or workforce mobility, you've now increased the value of just selling that connection. Not only the value of selling the connection, but the need for the connection. And the need for that connection to be higher than if they were just accessing email over the internet, right? So you're creating a solution for the customer that makes them feel really comfortable that, you, that you're providing a valuable service to them. Level, le level three provides connectivity, and data tech services require quality high-speed connectivity. So, you know, back to why a partnership, that's basically the essence of it right there. The, the product and services that level three offers and the product and services that data tech offers, they match perfectly. Solutions take cost out of the equation by increasing value. Solutions versus products. <coughs> See the difference? If you If you can switch your mind into thinking about that. And you guys do it really already today with sort of a captured product when you do bundled services, right? You bundle voice and you bundle data, okay? Because you're creating now a value proposition that's greater than just voice or data alone. What we want to do is take that concept of bundling and actually use IT services to create solutions for clients that meet their needs, their growing needs for today. The concept of selling versus selling products. <clears throat> Back in 1999, uh, everybody was facing the, the Y2K challenge, right? So, uh, you know, Data Tech was faced with trying to meet the need, but what we, what we came up with was a simple product that would make everybody comfortable. And if we would have sold just the products in that solution, we would not have done very well. Okay, because there wasn't a lot of margin or profit in it. The internet was really getting going then. People could get online and buy hard drives and everything for, for pennies on the dollar. So as a comparison to make the solution versus product selling concept really clear, I'll give you an example of where we did, we, we, we created something that did very well. Um, for a backup solution, you've got a hard drive, you've got an external uh, hard drive case, and the software. The total cost of this combination equaled about $500. The most we could sell that for selling those products, maybe $600, trying to add the value that will come out and plug it in for you. But if the, if the customer was savvy, they would go out and buy those, those products individually and, and do it themselves. So we wanted to create a value add proposition. We created a disaster recovery solution and we sold it for $2,500, right? It's the same thing. We just put a sticker on it that said disaster recovery solution. So that kind of gives you the difference in selling the products versus selling the solution from a value add. Forget about the dollar amount, actually. It's the value add proposition that we're after. And other companies could even, uh, our competitors would even put quotes out with these three products that did the same thing for only five or $600. 
we were successful in selling against that because we provided a solution. We packaged it, and we were able to talk about that. So real world example is you guys are out there selling connectivity. Bright House is selling connectivity. You come face to face. Bright House is offering what they call managed services, which really isn't. You guys need to understand that too. When Bright House talks about their managed services that they're offering, it's not real managed services. It's not managed services in, in the concept of managing an entire enterprise, which we'll, we'll touch on. And I've got a graphic to kind of conceptualize that for you uh, in the coming slides. But um, you want to go out there and you want to compete against that. Not just compete against it. You, really, you, you don't even want to make it a, a race. What you want to do is create this dynamic. Bright House, level three. Okay. So the customer doesn't really care about the price anymore. What they care about is the solution. So what value does data tech add? <clears throat> Cloud services, workforce mobility, disaster recovery, certainly. Centralized business operations. There's a lot of businesses out there that are still running servers in, in all different locations uh, because they think that it's too expensive to really you know, centralize everything into a data center. And realistically, until the last year or two, it, it has been. But things of uh, cost for connectivity have come way down. And now with eLink slash Cloud Connect, we can cut those costs almost in half. And we'll discuss a little bit about that in the uh, next couple of slides as well. So centralized business operations is kind of a, a broad spectrum, uh, but it can be a hot topic for, for customers. Move to a data center. A lot of clients are looking to move to a data center. They'd love to get their servers out of their location and put into a data center, but they've heard a couple of things that prevent them from doing that. One, they've heard it's slow, right? Accessing my stuff, we get to hear from other people, accessing my stuff of the internet into the cloud, it's really, really slow. Why? You have a bad connection. <laughs> so we want to sell them that, right? Um, they're concerned about where the data is and how to securely access that. Again, that's where eLink comes in, Cloud Connect. It's a secure, high-speed, private connection. Look, Mr. Customer, this is just like taking a, a long Ethernet line and connecting you to the data center. So that concept as well is important. Co-location. Co-location, you know, if you Google co-location, you'll get 50 different interpretations of what co-location is. To some people, it's simply data backups. To other people, it is the fact of moving their servers to a data center. And to the more advanced client, co-location is they've got servers here, and they want a replicated set of servers over here you know, and for uh, backup and failover. So there's a lot of different things that can fit under co-location. And when you guys are out there talking to clients, we can help you define all of these products and services. That's something we want to do, kind of ride shotgun with you when you have an opportunity. Business continuity, similar to disaster recovery, but um, if you were in the last presentation, and there'll be some future presentations, there's a big difference between disaster recovery and business continuity, and I'll touch on that real quick. <clears throat> Most clients focus on disaster recovery. I want to back up my data. I want to back up my data. But what they don't understand, as I talked about before, is to restore that data, it could take some time. 24, 48, 72 hours, depending on what your solution is, right? So what we want to introduce to them is the idea of business continuity. If there is a disaster, how do I continue doing business while I recover? And that's what we're going to talk about a little bit in our shadow services, in the shadow cloud that we offer. Annual or quarterly, depending on the customer, yes. But we also have, uh, in, in the managed services software that we'll look at a little bit, we also have live uh, application testing that goes on and verification that goes on on a daily basis. Okay. Because sometimes quarterly or annual testing isn't enough. And one of the things to, to talk about that's, that's in the specific business continuity presentation is the cost of business continuity. The cost isn't necessarily the connectivity, right? Because as we know, that, that's fairly inexpensive now, and especially with uh, Cloud Connect, uh, that can be real affordable for them. The cost is in the responsibility right, to manage that for the client. Because as you said, you've got to test it. You've got to make sure it works. Because as soon as you need it and it doesn't work, it doesn't matter what you've done in the past, that game is over. 
So there's a tremendous amount of responsibility and man hours that goes into the cost of business continuity. And that's why it's a complex issue to talk to clients about. All of these services require high speed connectivity. Again, that's the partnership, right? That's what we want to offer to our clients. And it's always been a battle. We, we can offer all these services. But it's always been, the, 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 the challenge, the obstacle that we face has always been, well, the connectivity is too expensive. You know, I've got to pay, on top of paying you for all these services, I'm paying, you know, $1,500 to $2,000 per location uh, to connect all my sites to this service that you're offering. So that, that, the service is affordable, but the connectivity wasn't. Now it is. Because we control that endpoint as far as e-link goes, right? So we can give the bandwidth that we need to the client as it needs it versus it being a static connection, right? That's kind of the, the, the basis of e-link, right? Is giving the power to the data center to control that bandwidth. That's where there's a dynamic shift that I was talking about in uh, level three, empowering the data center to control some of those aspects that were, that were out of our control before. We would say, hey, Delta, go give them a quote. Trish, give them a quote, and they'd come back and say, they wouldn't go back to you guys. They would come back to us and say, this is crazy. You know, we can't, we can't afford that. So um, now we have, a, we have a tremendous amount of flexibility because we control a large portion of that cost for them. And in many cases, in many cases, on our side, we're pretty much going to waive that cost, or it's going to be very, very small just so we can get them on these services. Because we don't make money on the bandwidth. We're not in the business of selling bandwidth, and we don't want to be. All we want is that connectivity piece, right? So we're going to give that away so we can get these services. And that's where we talk about that partnership when we go out to you guys and somebody with you guys to the clients and start talking about business continuity that was cost prohibitive before. All of a sudden now, it becomes affordable. You know, it becomes a reality for clients. So Data Tech can help answer some of these questions from clients. My disaster recovery system has been in place for years. Why is it no longer sufficient for my needs? They may not even be thinking about it, okay? But if you have an opportunity to talk to a customer about bandwidth, maybe they call up, maybe you get a lead, or through networking, someone says, ah, you know what, my wind stream's terrible, or I'm having all kinds of problems with my Bright House cable modem. You know, really? So, um, so if you get that opportunity to get in front of the client, what we want to do is we want to talk less about bandwidth and more about the solution. Well, why do you need good bandwidth? You know, and we have all kinds of great bandwidth services, but have you thought about business continuity? Have you thought about the other things that you can do? Cloud services, what are some of your other challenges that we can help you? So you're, you're really taking the focus off selling them that actual physical connection, and you really want to sell that solution. And that's something I'm going to keep driving towards until it you know, clicks is, yeah, I don't want to sell them a T1. I want to sell them business continuity, which requires a 50 meg fiber connection to do it. Right? That's the idea. Why does business continuity some, suddenly seem to be so much more important than it was before? A simple answer to the, to the client. Because we have become ever more dependent on our computer systems and electronic data than ever before. This year alone, we have had more complaints about slowness. And, that, and that's all they, they say, right? My, my computer's slow. Uh, well, no, it's really not your computer. You're accessing cloud applications. You're doing mobile computing. You're accessing remote email. So it's not your computer. It's your connectivity that's slow, right? But that shows them how dependent they are on data. Today's business requires real-time information to all locations. Level 3 delivers those connections. Mobile computing is changing the way we do business, and as a result, it changes the way we need to operate our business. Okay, again, high-speed connections. And the, the customers don't realize that the, the slowness that they're experiencing, the pain that they're experiencing, is probably 75% of the time when we go out and troubleshoot that, I would say that's conservative. It has something to do with their internet connection. We spend more time on help desk calls troubleshooting internet connections than we do anything else. So for us to get rid of that problem, to have a cost-effective solution, high-speed solution that we, can, that we can bring out to our clients, like Career Exchange, we were just talking about one of our clients' Career Exchange that's been on T1s, and 
t uh, it seems like over a year, but it's, it, this year has been their, their computing needs. They've added a bunch of people, and their computing needs have completely outgrown their T1 solution. And now to start adding more bonded T1s onto their connection to, get, to give them more bandwidth, the cost is going through the roof as you add more of those. So we reached out to TW Telecom for a solution, and you know, they came back and said, you know what, we can bring them fiber. Even though you don't deliver the last mile yet, you're using AT&T for the last mile for them, still we can give them high-speed fiber, sol uh, fiber solution. The good news for Career Exchange is today they have to be on the point-to-point -point connection. In other words, they have to pay for point A and they have to pay for point B and they have to pay for point C. Next year, hopefully, we're going to be able to get them on E-Link. They'll only have to pay for point A and point B. Point C, the data center, we will give them that because they're on our virtualized server solution. So the good news for them is we're going to be able to drastically reduce their price. Now, what are they going to think about the TW, well, the level three at that time uh, relationship? They're going to like, wow, they're, they're calling me up and giving me a lower price? A discount? What's the catch? You know, that, I, I know what their thinking is going to be. There's no catch. This is the relationship and the value of the partnership that Data Tech has with Level 3 that you're experiencing the benefit from. And we've, we've identified half a dozen customers, I think, already that we're targeting for eLink. And we're actually going to go out to those customers and we're going to tell them we're giving you a discount. There's a, uh, a large restaurant group here in Tampa that we just <clears throat> migrated to our data center. And we put them on E-Line, the E-Line product, because E-Link wasn't quite ready yet. They are going to be tickled, tickled pink when we go to them and say, guess what, guys? We're eliminating this one cost. We're going to transfer you over to, to uh, Cloud Connect with level three, and we're going to completely eliminate this cost. Because again, we don't care about the connectivity cost for us. We're, we want the server hosting services, and we want to build the value in that solution as much as we want you guys to understand how to build the value in those solutions. Okay, that's, that's what we, that's the relationship that we're building with our client. Hey, we're leveraging our level three relationship for you guys. Okay, we're gonna save you a lot of money. So Data Tech can provide level three integrated solutions. Introduction, Shadow Cloud. Okay, Shadow Cloud is a concept that we came up with to kind of really embrace the E-Link Cloud Connect solution to really just give it a different name, a different face. You know, it's like taking the, 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 the Twinkie bag and putting a really nice logo on it. It's the same Twinkie inside there, but people think it's really fresh and nice and new. So that's what we're doing with these services. And I'll emphasize that in, in the next slide, or maybe it's the slide after. Creating the package. So this is really kind of demonstrating more about that solution selling concept that I'm talking about. This is our message to our clients. Introducing a new line of enterprise services from Data Tech in partnership with Level 3 Communications and their revolutionary next generation connectivity, Cloud Connect. Data Tech has designed the Shadow Cloud. Nice. Change our logo, add some colors to it, give it a cool name. Emphasize that what it really is, is the fiber interconnect with uh, TW Telecom slash um, level three and how that we can now reach out to multiple data centers around the country. Why is that important? Well, having things in a data center and cloud services and getting servers out of customer's office to our data center or any other data center is great. Their next question is, well, I want my data stored in another place, especially the larger companies. And for compliance, you know, HIPAA compliance and, and things like that, uh, they're having to do these things. Again, a concept that was previously cost prohibitive. They wanted the, the proposal, they wanted the solution, but they never would engage with it, right? Because it was too expensive. Well now, with eLink, we can easily connect to other data centers around the country. And Data Tech is currently working on a partnership uh, with DataSight. I don't know how many of you guys have heard of DataSight. DataSight is a, is a very nice data center, but all they sell is space and power. That's it. They, I mean, in fact, they're really a real estate company when it comes down to it. They're selling blocks, and you put whatever you want in there, and then they, they don't even care, you know, what's in there. They, you have to, the customer has to get their own connectivity, right? So that's where we come in. 
we're going to leverage data sites, other locations in Boise, uh, in Atlanta. They have one in Orlando. And of course, we have our e-link connection here. And we're going to have e-link connections to all these locations. So we're going to have a super fast highway to put the customer's data wherever they want to. You know, and I, I believe that TW Telecom has a, has a, a pop uh, location out in uh, Las Vegas, too. We've actually had some customers interested in exploring that opportunity because they feel like, oh, it's nice and dry and safe out there. You know, forget about the floods and the other things that they might have. But you know, again, it's their concept. It's their concept. That's what they think. So, whatever they want. Exactly. The important part is we have a super fast highway to get the data there and back. Remember, backup and recovery to get the data there and back, cost effectively and affordably. Okay, so we're building that solution. Mr. Customer, tell me what you want. I'm not going to tell you what I have until you tell me what you want. And I'll tell you what I have to meet that need. Right? And then we'll design and build the custom solution. We'll sit down with the Cybercats and we'll say, this is what the customer wants. Now, let's refine it, design it, package it up, and use our technology. So Shadow Cloud and E-Link redefined data centers into a term that we're kind of calling shadow centers. And if you think about it, what's the concept behind, be, behind shadow? It's, it's, it's a reflection, right, of their information and their data in different locations. So that's, that's why we use shadow. So the message, shadow cloud services are data center basic based cloud services for enterprise business, specifically designed by the Cybercat division at DataTech, shadow cloud delivers. Now let me, this is a subtle point right here for marketing, specifically designed by the Cybercat division. Okay, If you go to our website, which I do encourage you guys to do and look up some of these concepts, like what the Cybercats are, what we're doing is we're taking engineers and we're putting them on a pedestal and we're saying these guys are the best of the best. By giving it a name and putting them on that pedestal, it creates a trust relationship for clients. We say, look, you know, this is a problem. Our regular engineers, uh, you know, probably not the best answer for this. But you know what? Let's go engage the cyber cats. You know, let's bring them in on this. And the customer gets all excited. Wow, OK, that sounds really cool. Let's bring them in. And they're great guys and super intelligent. And they are the, the best that we have as far as engineers go. So it's actually an accurate concept. Um, but that right there, combined with the shadow cloud and what it delivers is what really gets the customer going. And, and, and now, now you're pulling them in, right? Now you're pulling them in to want more than just that connectivity. So what is shadow cloud? High speed, uh, it's the high speed demands of today's enterprise for IT business continuity, cross-platform application anywhere, virtual environments, all from a central uh, secure location, continuous availability. Resource-based load balancing and complete network transparency. These are all concepts directly from the e-link marketing, by the way. Multi-regional interconnects in Atlanta, Las Vegas, Orlando, and data centers around the world. Again, you know, building on that idea that when you talk to some of these clients that we're not just talking about Tampa, we're not just talking about uh, Atlanta or Orlando. Wherever you guys have data, wherever you have the need. So does this sound familiar? It's just the delivery that's different. All this is what we already were talking about with cloud connectivity, with business continuity, right? It's just a different way to talk about it to the client. So shadow specific products and services that we're offering right now. And all of these rely on uh, Cloud Connect. Shadow server for business continuity, shadow cloud for remote business continuity, and Shadow Shield for premise-based security. This is what we have right now. We're building out a complete line of products. A Shadow Server. What that is, real quick, again, there's a whole presentation just on that. But what a Shadow Server is, it's just a spare server that we put on site for customers for instant recovery. Because remember, backup is one thing, recovery is another. So we replicate their servers to a server that's there on their premise. Why is that unique? Well, you could say that customers buy a spare server all the time. What's unique about this is the way we package it, because we don't sell them the server. We do the, what's called hardware as a service. So they don't pay $10,000 for a server, and then the services to maintain it, and then the software that goes on it, and any annual subscriptions. We charge a small monthly fee for them to have the server, and that's it. Right? And what we do is we use eLink to connect to that server and manage it. 
The same thing with the shadow cloud. They don't want it local. We use the shadow cloud to take that same concept and put it in the data center. The key is that high-speed conduit to get there. So you want to sell these services, which, again, require fiber connections. And Shadow Shield is just something that, uh, it's a repackaging, again, that we're offering under these services. The reason I want to mention these to you is because under the channel guide, it says Shadow Services. So it's just a good idea to know where we're going with that concept. So coming in 2015 will be the Shadow Manager. And this is what I was talking about from the managed services. Oh, pause. I threw this in here at the last minute. This is our Shadow Cloud technical diagram. Okay, so if you run into a situation where you're talking to an IT manager and he doesn't want to talk about concepts and solutions, he says, you know, well, how does it work? Okay, we can provide the technical diagrams to show specifically to these guys how that worked. That's another way we can come in and compliment you, you know, on site is that we can say, okay, well, you want to know technically how it works because that's what's important to that guy. We've got the servers, we shadow it to virtual, we use interconnect to make sure all your workers are operational no matter what the circumstances are. That's a quick review of that slide. But what's important is I wanted to show you that we have the technical resources, you know, to convince the customer that they need the services as well. So back to the shadow manager, which is basically a single pane of glass. Now, what I was talking about before as far as managed services, what TW Telecom Level 3 and the rest of them deliver today are services of the internet and where it comes in and connects to the office. That's it. What happens beyond that, you guys don't support. Right? You're like, call, call your IT guy for that. You know? So what we want to do is bundle or build the relationship between the connectivity and the services that we offer because the customer's real need, they're, they're calling you about this, but their real need is to manage all of this, to manage this entire enterprise, right? So we want to empower you as the sales reps, level three, to go out and say, we have a solution for that, okay? Let me bring data tech in and we can talk about how our uh, Cloud Connect products can help you manage your entire infrastructure. Now think about the value that you've just created there. Instead of selling them connectivity, you're selling them a solution to manage their entire infrastructure. Absolutely. Yeah, great point. And you know, think about something a little bit outside of that world. Workforce mobility, right? <coughs> You guys all have notebooks and computers and probably getting tablets and at least have smartphones. You're out running all over the place. Many of you know, your customers have that same situation. That really has nothing to do with the connectivity, does it? it you know, that notebook computer is connecting wireless or, or however they're connecting. That's not part of that connectivity solution, is it? However, if you bring in the global management system into that, it is because they need that to manage all of the work, uh, workstations, remote laptops that are out there in the field. So now you're bringing in, you're adding that value to that connection that, that wasn't there before, right? So the unified management platform with Shadow Manager. Data Tech leverages world-class management, monitoring, and reporting with global systems management software. Level 3 can build on their infrastructure can build on their infrastructure offering by providing real-time status reports and IT management to their clients. Again, like we were talking about, they're not just concerned about the connectivity now, they're concerned about leveraging that connectivity for all that it's worth. If I'm going to pay $1,000 a month for that 10 meg, 20, 50 meg fiber line, whatever it is, what else can I get out of it? You know, and you've got to fill that void. You can say, well, look, you're going to get this connectivity, but look at all these other great things you're going to be able to do. These are the value adds for that. Management that does not stop at the router, but extends to all endpoints across the organization with no geographical barriers. Okay, so what we're talking about here is not just that connection. We're talking about software that's going to manage that location, all the remote workers, all the remote workers, location A, B, the one in India, all from one computer. So you're bringing their organization together 
And again, you're selling them that fiber connection, but you're delivering them all this productivity. So without next generation application, traffic analytics, and syslog reporting, organizations have no insight into bandwidth utilization, application traffic, or employee productivity. Organizations need easy, affordable management tools that scale across thousands of appliances and security policies. That kind of sums it up right there, really what the clients are really looking for. This is just kind of a slide that kind of gives you a global view, again, of the unified management system. You have one location, and then you have, you know, uh, administration of remote locations, one, two, uh, mixed LAN and WAN environments. doesn't matter to either whether it's a Linux device, an Apple device, or a Windows device. The unified platform that we use makes it all seem like one management console to all these devices. That's a powerful concept in today, for today's um, uh, IT managers, right? So in summary, the partnership between Level 3 Communications and Data Tech will be a symbiotic relationship or arrangement. Um, so what I mean by that is we want to help you as much as we want you to help us. You know, we really want to make this a partnership. This is not a one-sided affair. And I'm going to go through some resources that we're going to make available to you guys as well. Our goal is to increase sales by creating solutions based on the client needs. Datatech's wide range of services and dynamic engineers will allow the customization of services that will complement level three products, creating a value-added proposition that removes cost as a competitive factor. Now, it doesn't completely remove cost as a factor in budgeting, but it removes it as a competitive factor. So you're not competing directly against Bright House and Bright House managed services. You're going to create a solution that makes that really you know, not even an idea that they can embrace. As an e-link partner in approved data center location, Datatech can now work with Level 3 to build aggressively priced enterprise connectivity solutions bundled with proven IT services. So here's some resources. We're going to have an online partner media portal. Okay, we're building that right now, and it's going to be Datatech ITP slash partner slash L3 or maybe just partners, I don't know. We'll, we'll get that information to Delta. So this presentation, this video, all of the uh, Shadow Cloud marketing that we do, all of the co-op marketing that we're working with Delta and her marketing team on E-Link and Data Tech and those combined services, all of that will be available right from the web for you. CyberCats advanced engineering team. If you have a big opportunity for a 15 or 20 location customer that you're going out to that you're not really sure, or maybe you are sure, that you know they're calling you about fiber interconnect, give us a call. I can have one of my engineers ride shotgun with you, right? That could maybe talk about some of these other concepts and value add that opportunity. Okay? And you know, again, that's part of the partnership. We'll go out with you. We are going to stay very informed on what eLink and what level three and that does. Uh, uh, how that relationship develops so that we can speak in concert with you to the client. So the sales team that we have, Todd Leitz, myself, Scott Dollar, Russ Mislicki, Mike Deming, and Alan Jones. These are all sales guys that are available. The engineering team, if it's a 15 or 20 location opportunity, please give me a call. I'll be happy to go with you out there. <laughs> Absolutely. Talk about business continuity, cloud computing, multi-server, co-location, whatever it is that they want. Kevin Kors is uh, our data center manager. He is also available for consulting. Chris Wright is uh, uh, the assistant to the data center manager. Mike Ponticello and Bill Rutherford are also accomplished engineers that are available. And then we have the marketing team. Mike Puckett, who's our marketing manager at Data Tech. Eddie a coin, a coin. How do we say that? O coin. Oh, that's different. Um, Eddie, <laughs> uh, we just hired as a marketing assistant to Mike to help develop a lot of this material to make sure that we can provide the latest and greatest information to you guys. And of course, we have the internet, and that's where you're going to access all this information. So now I want to kind of circle back around and get some feedback. You know, to have you guys think again. How can Data Tech help you? Some of the common situations you encounter, what are the questions you get asked, what information would help you, and are there any obstacles that you commonly run into 
And what are the resources data uh, tech can offer to assist? And uh, I can open up the table now, but also please feel free to email Delta these, these questions. She's kind of going to be the liaison point of contact from both ends. And we'll get you answers to these questions. And we'll create situations where we can help you figure out how we can help the customer in these situations, especially the obstacles. You know, obstacle, if you have an obstacle with a customer, it means you've already gone past the first phase, right? You, you, you've already talked to the customer. You've already, already, you know, got an idea of what the solution is. But there's an obstacle. There's something that's preventing you or something that you think is going to prevent you from making that sale. Let's identify what those obstacles are, and let's create a custom solution to get around that obstacle and make that sale. So I just want to make a quick point. So the companies that we deal with, especially some of the small to medium-sized organizations, you know, they're so used to just using the internet to get to their applications. Now with the e-link strategy, it makes it that much more possible for them to connect to these applications, especially if they're housed in a data center like Data Tech. Uh, they need to connect to their exchange or, or different platforms. So what was pos impossible at one point is now possible because that cost is being absorbed by the Data Tech side. So all the customer client on our side has to pay for that EDC and that uni. So what could have cost them maybe $750 or $1,000 can now be affordable, maybe at five or six, can make it so much more affordable. Now they can use the services or offset some of those costs with the data center side and then use that e-link. So it's just kind of a primary initial focus. If somebody is needing to get into a data center for some type of solution that they have, may have never been able to of before, Maybe with the e-link solution, now they can have a backup disaster recovery solution. Now they can have servers in a data center because that extra cost is now that much more affordable. Not saying that the solution is cheap, but it's just a, a, an entry point to get into a solution or into a cloud environment that they have never been able to uh, before. So, does anybody have any questions or? Well, I wanted to accentuate that point a little bit on the whiteboard. And has everybody been trained on e-link? What it is, yeah. how the data center you know yeah. fits into that, where you know that's the cost that you have a customer. You have a customer Everybody's with aware, but... A and B, and then C being the data center, and typically they have a dollar value each of those. Basically, we are going to eliminate the cost of that third location, that third leg on there. And what we want to do is replace that with cloud services, backup disaster recovery, because it's, it's money that's going to go somewhere. But if we offer it in, in one solution for one dollar figure, and I think we can do that, we can have an integrated solution for the client, because we do do it for some clients now. Actually, we handle all the billing and everything for the, for the connectivity, and they have one price for, for a solution. So it makes it really easy from the client's concept too. You know, like Delta said, you know, as we as we went through that, you know, they're looking for more than just that connectivity. They're looking for the cloud services and how they can get there affordably, right? Or they're already on cloud services and they're looking for a solution to why my cloud services are so slow because they didn't think about the concept that their real problem is with the connectivity. It's not with you know, their cloud services solution, but if you go in there not understanding that that's really their challenge, you know, then you're going to be at a little bit of a disadvantage. So you got to go in there and say, look, I know why you're, you know, that, that you're having problems with these things. Let's look and see why, you know, type of thing. Now at that point, huh? Here is a challenge, an obstacle, if you will. When you guys are out there, you don't know really that that's what it is, right? You're not really sure. What, what really? They're calling you because they hate Windstream because Windstream's kind of connection is slow, but it's a 1.5 T coming in on a Time Warner last mile, <laughs> on a TW Telecom last mile, but they don't get that. So just replacing in that sense, and we just went through this with a client, just replacing their connection with the carrier isn't going to do anything for them. They're going to be just as unhappy and just as unsatisfied with a T1 from level three as they are from any other carrier, right? So you kind of want to make a more educated 
uh, decision when you're going to provide them a solution. That, again, is where data tech can come in. You go out there and the customer says, well, I want a new connection because this one's slow. Well, how do you know? Have you done, you know, what, what research, what diagnostics? Well, nothing. It's just slow and we know it's our Internet. Well, how about I get a free consultation from data tech to come out and let's verify what your needs are. Let's verify what bandwidth you're using and what your problems are. It may go deeper than a T1. There's a lot of pieces in between that customer and the Internet. For example, their router, right? So we have a office optimization kit that we recommend that if you go with a new uh, internet service provider that you put in the optimization kit which is a new high speed switch and a new high speed router. What happens if you plug in little tech tips here you have an old router that's connected to um, you know the old uh, AdTran device and it goes out to the cloud right that's a 10 meg interface, that's a 10 meg interface, maybe this is 100, into their network switch. If you come out and say, you know what, I'm going to send you, I'm going to sell you, instead of this, I'm going to give you a 10 meg fiber connection here. This port right here is typically either going to be 100 or a gig. If you plug that into here, it's going to make it worse. The customer is actually going to have a slower connection because there's going to be all kinds of crappy communication between this old router and this new connection, right? So this is something to be cognizant of when you're selling solutions because you don't want to end up like the previous guy. Oh, I switched to T or level three and it's just as slow as Windstream. No, we don't want to do that. We want to add value by com coming out and doing a proper analysis for the client and also doing some speed tests and finding out what what really the issue is maybe it's outside here maybe it's between here and here that's the issue right so again that's kind of the value if you get into that situation we're happy to come out we do do free network diagnostics for clients all the time and we're happy to come out and embrace that opportunity well thank you so much Chris welcome